Good morning, Zion friends. Welcome. It's good to see you here. Check in with one another, if you would, please, as you as we gather. It is good always to be together. I'm going to focus a little bit today on fruits of the Spirit. It will be uh, kind of our theme for a So um, as we connect, good morning, Carla. Good morning, Kathy. It's good to see you folks checking in here. Thanks for being here. And um, so I wanted to share with you, first of all, um, a little, uh, just a little cartoon here. This is, the title of it is Almond Joy. And uh, I think you can probably read that. I haven't been eaten yet. Woohoo! So that's Almond Joy for the day. Our theme for today is uh, joy. And uh, for the next couple of days, I'm going to be picking um, a fruit of the Spirit. And um, the various fruits of the Spirit can be found in Galatians chapter 5. And uh, so almond joy is one of those fruits of the Spirit, I guess you would say. Anyway, almond joy, haven't been eaten yet. Uh, um Let's sing a song here that's going to get us into the mood for uh, talking about joy today. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. fun kids song, fun for us uh, kids of all ages. And so I wanted to share chapter 5, verses 22 through 25. And this is where Paul uh, lays out for us the fruits of the Spirit. They contrast with uh, uh, the way of the flesh. Uh, so uh, Paul lays this out for us. Here it is. By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things, and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also be guided by the Spirit. So, uh, one of the fun things that Carl and I are trying to arrange for us here is uh, we've got uh, some youth from uh, our last parish who have a fun song about the fruits of the Spirit. And so um, I think they've agreed to um, videotape themselves singing it for us. And uh, if so, I'll have it for you perhaps tomorrow. So we're going to take a look at that. I wanted to just share with you uh, some um some passages from scripture that uh, tell us about joy. So first, uh, you may have trouble reading this, but I'll read it for you. First from Psalm 30. And the Psalm so often expresses our, um, our feelings, our emotions, and it's the beauty of the Psalms. So Psalm 30, verse five, weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. What a great verse for us to look at and reflect upon. And you might go and look at the entirety of Psalm 30 today and see um, how it is that our joy can be restored and how our joy is part of life, even in the midst of the difficulties that we face. Then I've got uh, John chapter 16, and this is in Jesus' uh, farewell discourse. He's saying goodbye to the disciples. And he says to them, So also you have sorrow now, but you will see again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. And so the joy that God brings to us is one that cannot be lost. 
uh, that from Jesus saying goodbye. This earlier in, in Jesus' uh, farewell discourse, these things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. This is in a chapter of John in which Jesus is talking about abundance in life. And uh, this joy uh, being complete is what Jesus seeks for his followers. And then uh, I've got a text from 1 Peter. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. And that we just read uh, yesterday in worship. And then uh, Psalm 16, again back to the Psalms. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And finally, from Romans chapter 14. That's right there at the bottom of the screen, isn't it? For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Indeed, that is a kingdom promise for us. And we give thanks for those promises are ours. And uh, we have the ability to, to live in joy and to share our joy with others. And it's, uh, it seems that it's more, uh, there's more depth to joy than happiness. And so we see the joy that God's presence brings to us as a fruit of the Spirit. By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Hey, go and memorize those. They're from Galatians chapter 5 and see, uh, see what you can find there. All right. Now, uh, I'd like you to sing with me a couple of verses of this great hymn. Second verse. Joy surrounding earth and heaven reflect thy rays. Those and angels sing around thee, center of unbroken praise. Field and mountain, flowery meadow, flashing sea. As we look around us and we see the various things in creation, mountains, flowery meadows, flashing sea, chanting bird, flowing fountain, all of them call us to rejoice in God's presence, to rejoice in God's love for us, which is secure. As the psalmist reminds us again from that first verse that we read from Psalm, the, Psalm 30, Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. And no one, Jesus says, will take your joy from you. Well, may you have joy this day, and may you be blessed. Let's uh, take a moment to pray together. Oh, Lord God, we remember the joy that you give to us, the love which you share with us, the fruits of the Spirit which come upon us, Help us to let go of our worldly cares and cling to your joy, cling to the things that give you praise, to the joys of life. Amid the challenges of life, it's easy to be discouraged, but help us to sing of your glory and abundance that we may know joy. Remind us of your ever-present help in times of need and shower us with the gifts and fruits of the Spirit 
Help us to find comfort in you. Calm our anxiousness and bless us in your truth and in your love. And remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray, Lord God, as you have taught. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. We are yours now and forever. Amen. Now I invite you to focus on the positive, focus on what it is that you can control, on what it is that you can do, and may joy be yours today. May the fruits of the Spirit be with you. Remember to go to Galatians 5 and memorize those fruits of the Spirit. And now uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Joy is yours.